In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom WordPress login redirect. So after someone logs in, they'll be redirected to a specific page, a page that you specify. You can do this for different user roles, different user names, different user levels, and for all users. This tutorial is going to be using a plugin. You can also do the same thing without a plugin. Just add some code to your functions file. I show you that in a different tutorial. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. We're getting started on this video right now. First thing we want to do is install a plugin. Let's go to plugins and then add new and then look for Peter's login redirect. And like I mentioned, I have another tutorial where I show you how this works without a plugin. You just copy and paste some code into your functions file. There's a link to that tutorial in the description down below. But this one is with a plugin, and this is the plugin we want right here. Thumbnail is not impressive, but the plugin works really well. I'm going to click on install now. If you want to back up your site first before you install, it's always a good idea. Just in case something goes wrong, you can restore to a version of the website that isn't broken after the plugin is installed. It's not often that things break, but they do sometimes. It's always good to be safe. There's a link in the description down below for a tutorial on backing up your WordPress site if you need that. So Peter's login redirect is now installed and activated, and we have a new option under the settings menu called login slash logout redirects. Let's click on that. And this is where we set up our rules. So with this plugin, we can redirect specific users after they log in, users with specific roles after they log in, users with specific levels of authority on the website after they log in, and then all other users. If you want to just have everybody redirected to a certain page, like an updates page that shows everything that's new on the site after they log in, you'd add that URL here. So I'm just going to create a quick redirect to a non-existing page. I'm just going to call this updates. So after everybody logs in, they're going to go to this page. And after they log out, I'm just going to send them all to the home page. And that's all we have to set up. Click on update. And now we have a redirect that applies to absolutely everybody. Now, if you want to add redirects for specific users, they will overwrite this. So for example, if we wanted to add a redirect for me, the admin, I don't want to go to the updates page. I'm the admin. I want to log into the back end. So I'm just going to add in here WP admin as my redirect. And then this is the logout URL, the home page. I'm going to click on add username role or username rule, sorry, and that's added. And then I'm going to click on update down below. I'm not sure it's necessary. It's going to click it just in case. Now everybody's redirected like we established. Everybody's redirected to the updates page after they log in, except for me now or my username right here. I'll be going to this page. So whatever we add as specific cases up above the all other users, those will be redirected to those specific cases. Everybody else goes to what's set here. I think I nailed that home. I find it a little confusing how they have it set up. That's why I keep repeating that. Most important place you set up the redirect is right here. Specific roles can also be redirected. So if you wanted the subscribers of your site to go to, say, the subscriber updates page, for example, just add the URL there, click on add role rule, and now we have that role rule right there. We can add redirects for specific levels. These are levels of authority on your site, or levels of ability for people to do things on your site. This is a little abstract because these are hooks inside of WordPress. So for example, if you are able to install plugins, then we can redirect you somewhere specific after you log in. Or if your user is able to edit themes, we can send you somewhere else. Or if your user is able to create users, send them somewhere else. Most people won't be using this. So if you just select based on user role, that's usually enough because these specific levels, they also are found in specific user roles. And there must have been a demand for this kind of way to redirect. But the average user, I'm pretty sure, would not use this. And so specific levels, you don't really need to look at it unless you know what you're doing and you know what these specific levels mean, and then you can redirect based on those. Another important one, post registration. So after someone registers for your site, maybe they want to go to a thank you page, maybe you want them to go to the thank you page, where you can tell them next steps, or just thanks for signing up, here's your stuff, you can send them here. Click on update to add that. And now we have a bunch of redirects set up, and you can have more than one. Right now we have one username, 
on the site, so I can't make a whole lot more. But if you have other users, you can select specific users, and for each user have a specific redirect. Every role can have its own redirect, but only one for each role, otherwise it's confusing. Let's just do one more, contributor updates, and they're gonna go to the home page, add role, now we have two here, click on update, and now we have all our redirects in place. There's an important setting at the very bottom of this page that you wanna make sure you set, and that is the permission level required to edit redirect URLs. You probably only want admins doing that, and you have to select from the levels list here. You can't just select admin, you have to select from the levels list, and install plugins, install themes, uh, edit themes, delete themes, those are admin user privileges. So pick one of those, install plugins, and when a person has the ability to install plugins or user role has the ability to install plugins on your site, they can also then edit these redirect URLs, and this is only admins, like I said. Click on update. These other options that you see here, they can just stay as default. And the last thing I wanna show you is pretty advanced. You can use syntax like this right here to add usernames to the redirect URL. So if you wanted people to go to, subscribers to go to the updates page, and then let's say you had code on the updates page that was able to pull the username from the URL and put it into the text of the page. I have a tutorial for that, link to in the card up above and the description down below, but we can add their username to the URL, which can then be dynamically added to the page. Just gonna add a question mark to the end of here and add a variable called username and just add this piece of code that I copied and pasted from right here. And now in conjunction with the code in the other video, you can now pull this username into the website and have their name right in the text. If you wanna do that, that's awesome. If you don't wanna do that, just don't even add that to the URL. It's not important. It just makes the website a little more engaging for the user because you're making it specific to them but it's definitely not required. And while you're creating these custom login redirects, why not also create a custom login page? I've linked a tutorial right up here that shows you how to do it for free. I've linked to one down below here that shows you how to do it for free with Elementor. You don't need Elementor Pro for this. You can do it with Elementor free. Check out that tutorial if you have Elementor. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.